How to get better gas mileage for your car. Copyright 00 Crash Test With gas prices rising over the decades, you've probably all thought of ways to save on gas. The most obvious would be to reduce fuel consumption, by increasing fuel economy. Well, here are some tips to increase fuel economy, known colloquially as gas mileage in the United States of America. One of the main goals is weight reduction, more accurately mass reduction. Remember to keep and not dispose of any removed parts, as you never know when you'll need them. Furthermore, disposal causes even more pollution. Step 1, try to carpool, only applies to very few people. For the carpool, try to seat people at seating capacity as much as possible. In your place, if police do not enforce overloaded vehicles and people do not mind cramming into a car, then overload your car as much as possible. That way, the passenger miles per gallon will be maximized. Step 2, buy a car with a high fuel economy. This is obvious. Recommended cars include the Honda Fit, Toyota Yaris, Nissan Versa, Mitsubishi Mirage, and Toyota Prius. Step 3, drive at the optimal speed. For cars made in the 1970s, they had an optimal cruising speed of 50 to 55 miles per hour. This is why the government recommends driving at 55 on the highway as the government is using outdated information as expected. However, with modern engineering, the optimal cruising speeds are even lower. As expected with science, the higher the speed, the higher the drag. So, with modern cars, the speed with the highest fuel economy is first gear at low revs, which is about 15 to 20 miles per hour. The reason why cars today still get a lower city MPG than highway MPG is because city driving involves braking, which makes the car lose kinetic energy. Of course, with the efficiency of modern engineering, today's cars at 55 miles per hour still get much better fuel economy than 1970s cars, despite 55 being much higher than the 2010s optimal cruising speed. Of course, driving at 20 on the highway with a speed limit of 70 is dangerous and illegal in most places so you should try to drive in the slow lane at the lowest possible legal speeds of about 47 to 51 miles per hour, which Doug DeMuro did at 48 miles per hour in his Dodge Viper hypermiling video. Step 4, Draft a Tall Vehicle Air resistance is the biggest barrier to fuel economy. Drafting a bus or trailer can reduce the drag to less than a third. Step 5, Buy a Lightweight Car With a lightweight car, each component you remove, like spare tires and seats, is a larger percentage of the car's weight as they tend to have a standard size and weight. Less mass means less weight, which means less tire friction and inertia, which means less energy required, and consequently lower fuel consumption. Larger percentage mass reduction means a larger percentage fuel economy gain. Recommended cars are all subcompact cars like the Honda Fit, Toyota Yaris, Nissan Versa, and Mitsubishi Mirage. You might think, well, I could afford a luxurious Toyota Avalon, why should I cram myself into an Econobox? Well, you should simply think about how your ancestors lived, and how lucky you are so you should just accept driving a subcompact, as contemporary 2019 ones are already quite comfortable. If you accept one, you should thank yourself for saving not only a lot of money, but also the environment. If you do not care about safety, you can even buy a moped or scooter as their mass is even less. Step 6, Lose Body Fat Over a third of Americans are obese. While fat is low density, the sheer amount of fat in obesity weighs a lot. A 100-pound weight loss gains about 1 to 3 mpgs, depending on curb mass. Don't even think about driving naked, as nudity is socially taboo and likely illegal in most places. Step 7, Remove the Spare Tire Most of our cars have a spare tire included, many are a full size. A full size spare has a mass of about 35 pounds. You can replace it with an air pump with an inbuilt rechargeable battery, which weighs 2 to 5 pounds. By swapping the full size spare with an air pump, you'll save about 30 to 33 pounds, about a half to one and a half mpg gain, depending on your car's curb mass. There's a reason why many new cars nowadays forego their spare tires for run flats. Step 8, Drive on a low tank, only applies to few people. If you pass by a fuel station every day, you'll never need to take any extra trips to there. You should drive on a low tank of fuel as much as possible, saving about 100 to 200 pounds, about 1.5 to 6 mpg gain, depending on curb mass. Step 9, Roll down windows. If you live in a place that requires cooling, when traveling below 40 miles per hour, Roll down your windows instead of turning on the air conditioner. When traveling at 40 or higher, close all windows and use the air conditioner instead as aerodynamic drag becomes important. Step 10, Remove Unaccessory Interior Trim Interior trim such as mats, headliners, and trunk liners weigh quite a bit collectively. Do not remove the dashboard, glove box, center console, glove box, or door panels, as they are soft safety features to prevent injury or death by hitting against hard bare metal in the event of a collision. Removing all of them except for the unadvised ones saves about 10 to 20 pounds, about a quarter to 1 mpg gain, 
depending on curb mass. Step 11, use synthetic engine oil. Synthetic engine oil not only weighs less, but also lubricates better and lasts longer. In short, synthetic oil is better for the car in every single aspect. Using synthetic oil instead of conventional oil saves 10 to 20 pounds, about a quarter to 1 mpg gain, depending on curb mass. So, the small extra expenses in oil changes are well worth it. Step 12, remove the user manual. User manual typically weigh 2 pounds. 99.9% .9 of drivers, even in developing countries, probably have a smartphone. All car owners' manuals can be downloaded from online. Having a 1 1,000th higher MPG is better than nothing. Step 13, remove front license plate, only applicable to few people. If your state or country does not require a front license plate, remove it, typically weighing 1 pound. Having a 5 10 thousandths higher MPG is better than nothing. Step 14, use the weakest battery. Batteries may weigh up to 30 pounds. Weaker batteries are smaller and lighter. Having a couple 1 thousandths MPG gain is better than nothing. Step 15, remove back seats. Most Americans drive alone to work. Even most carpoolers have just their spouse riding. If the back seats are not usually used, for a two-row car, removing them saves about 70 to 150 pounds, about a 1 to 4 mpg gain, depending on curb mass. Step 16, remove the compressor and heater core, only applies to few people. If you live in a temperate climate and never use either the air conditioner or heater, remove them. That saves about 50 pounds, about 3 quarters to 1 and a half mpg gain, depending on curb mass. With all these implemented, you can have over a 20 mile per gallon increase. Of course, the biggest elephant in the room is plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or battery electric vehicles. Better yet, cycling or taking public transportation. Why live where a car is an necessity? Best, I think everyone in relevant jobs should have the option to work from home. This raises deep questions about the American society wasting and polluting so much. Subscribe to Zero Zero Crash Test.